Uh, so this is shattering any stereotypes. If you ever thought, anybody ever tells you Mexico is not nice, they're just feeding you a bunch of bull. Good afternoon, amigos, from Santa Fe, Mexico. We are, uh, this is like a, a different neighborhood within Mexico City. You guys requested we go here, and Luis I think we're answered. glad you did. <laughs> it uh, is a beautiful, everything feels brand new, insanely beautiful condo buildings, yes. offices, everything's really, really modern. Uh, every time we every time we start to think we know what Mexico City is or what Mexico is, Luis no shows idea. us something different. Let's go. Our first stop in Santa Fe. That's how you pronounce it, right? Santa Fe? Our first, I want to say Santa Fe, because I'm a gringo. Santa Fe is La Parque Mexicana. Brand new park. I believe it opened just last weekend. It looks pretty awesome. place is extremely nice. The park obviously is brand new. Just a little backstory about the neighborhood of Santa Fe. Uh, Luis told us it's only about 15 or 20 years old, so it's relatively new. It's a new city within Mexico City itself. Uh, on the way here, we saw a ton of corporations. Uh, we, we saw Microsoft, Ford, IBM, uh, and a whole bunch of others that, that, I, that I'm forgetting. So it seems like this is a big business hub, and there's a ton of new condo and residential buildings around us as well. Luis told us this is about as fancy as Polanco, except newer. Uh, I haven't been to Polanco. Uh, we haven't been to Polanco yet, but I find it hard to believe it's going to be quite this nice. Uh, so this is shattering any stereotypes. If you ever thought, anybody ever tells you Mexico is not nice, they're just feeding you a bunch of bull. Okay, what are your thoughts on La Mexicana? Uh, the park is huge. I can tell that in a couple years, all these trees are going to be grown up and it's going to be nice and filled. It's massive. I it think really we say big. everything we see in Mexico <laughs> City is huge, but we mean it. <laughs> I think this park just opened last week, so yeah. uh, we are the one of the first extremely nice. <laughs> to step <laughs> yes, foot I on know. it. Tons of people. I don't know where all these people went to a park before last week, but. Um, there's a skate park, a, there's a zip line, a dog a park, awesome a pond, uh, plenty hammocks. of jogging. It's got a little bit of everything. It's huge and really beautiful. Now, what are we going to do? Eat, 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 eat. <laughs> in a mall, 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 <laughs> mall, underground. Okay, if you don't speak Weta, we're going to eat in an underground mall. Luis is lost. He doesn't know where he's taking us. Classic Luis. He's lost. Yeah, he's still lost. We are trying to find the entrance to this museum, but we're in a heated we're in a heated football uh, uh, discussion, if you will. So I think it's distracted our our abilities to find the door. <laughs> This is the coolest uh, mall. We're in an underground mall. Wow, this place is crazy. We are literally underground in a three or four story mall. Pretty crazy. The only problem is I think everybody's at the park. Cause no one's really here, but more for Weta. This mall is very interesting. Every other mall, any shopping place we've been to in Mexico City has been packed. This one, I really do think we decided, I think everybody is at the at the park because it's two weekends before Christmas, two or three weekends before Christmas. There's nowhere, no one to be found here. It's actually kind of nice though, kind of nice. We made it to Cabo Grill. Usually we base our decisions on where we're gonna eat 
either one by recommendation and Luis filled us there. <laughs> 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 or or two, whichever place is the busiest. But there's literally no one eating at any restaurant here, so. We're the only ones at the mm. mall, which is awesome. <laughs> and we made it to Cabo because we wanted to get back to the, we didn't get back to our west coast roots. <laughs> yeah. Cabo's on the east coast. <laughs> it is? No, no, it's on the west coast. It no, is it's on the, on the west coast. Oh, I messed up. I was thinking Cancun. Oh, oh. I was thinking Cancun. It's gonna get crazy. Luis is taking a shot of shrimp water. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice. <laughs> what I is recommend it? Hey, what is this? It's shrimp, uh, caldo de camarón. Oh, okay. It's shrimp soup. It's shrimp, shrimp soup. Shrimp soup is good. It didn't sound so good, but... Even I like it. It's pretty tasty. Let's see what a... It's spicy. It's got a little spice to it. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. All right, all right. We've got some uh, fish fillets with french fries. And the french fries in Mexico City, I've mentioned this before, I think. They're so good. They are amazing. Rice, salad. Weta has the exact same thing. She's only gonna eat about half of that. I'll get to finish. And Luis, what's going on, man? All you've got is horchata. My horchata drink. Is no, they're, he's got tacos. They, right? they, they're forgetting his tacos. They're coming though. Well, I finished my plate, and uh, Luis has been taken after Go Goyo. He finished his plate as well. And uh, Weta, what's going on over here? Oh, uh, Weta, come on. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I am stuffed off of fried fish because, well, I finished all mine and uh, like three quarters of Hillary's. Okay, that bowling alley's too, uh, too expensive. This carding thing is only for kids, and we probably can't afford the kids' price regardless. So I think uh, we've got some more shopping to do. He's lost again. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I got it. Entiendo. Okay, perfecto. Gracias. We are about to enter the mall, unfortunately, for my sake. I'm kind of bummed the, the carding thing was only for kids, but we had an interesting conversation with Luis uh, a few minutes ago about how fancy Mexico City can be and even obviously this area is exceptionally fancy but i feel like throughout the whole city close to where we live there's fit a ton of very nice shopping centers and it just seems yeah fancy is the only that's that's the only where i can come up with this is lost again. He can't he can't find his eyes. Doing what he does best, asking for directions. Eh, este, disculpe. I thought you only got dessert if you finished your meal. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you get? Nutella brownie. Es un blizzard helado. Helado de blizzard. We've got our Dairy Queen here. Hillary's craving uh, ice cream, and uh, well, it's been a long time since we've had Dairy Queen, and ironically enough, we're having it in a mall in Mexico City. I think Dairy Queen just went bankrupt, actually. Uh, Santa Fe, a lot of you recommended we go here. Very cool city, or heart of the city. Very fancy, and Luis is trying to feed me cookies. <laughs> Very nice, extremely nice. It does, to me, it lacks some of the like traditional Mexican feeling in terms of like there's no there's no market here Craig please and so sometimes it, it doesn't you don't feel that Mexican charm I suppose is the best way to put it but in terms of shopping parks malls businesses modern. it's very modern the architecture in this part of town is very modern whereas the, the architecture in Old Town obviously is uh, not modern 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to classify it. It's uh, tons of different classifications. Personally, I would not want to live in this area. It's not quite walkable enough for us. Very enjoyable to visit, though. We want to go back to the park. We need to keep working on the drone fund. That way, we can fly a drone through uh, Parque Mexicana. And uh, and I have a feeling we're gonna come back and do some ice skating here. Now we're gonna ask. I will show you the face of my boy. <laughs> she, she can't finish her. Okay. Now we're gonna ask Luis some hard hitting questions. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Luis. <Viva>. Nuestro guía. <laughs> what? So I feel like a lot of people, probably ourselves included, included before we came to Mexico, probably do not have a positive perception of Mexico in that we do not think it's nice. We think everything, or a lot of people think, or we thought that, uh, you know, the majority of people are poor, that the economy is very bad. Obviously for us coming to places like this, Mexico City, that busts that myth. But as a Mexican, how do you feel about that stereotype? And like, what is your, what are your thoughts about Mexico and, and uh, Mexico City being semi-fancy, if you will? Yeah, well, um, I think Mexico is growing very fast this day. Uh, I think that the news uh, is in charge of the uh, sale a very bad image of Mexico in general, in the yeah. country Mexico, but you know, you have to sus always be suspect, Suspicious. always suspect uh -huh. about the news and see it by yourself. So come, visit, travel, see it by yourself and you take the, the best decision about if the news are true or false. Exactly, exactly. I love that. We didn't rehearse that, uh, we didn't rehearse that at all, but I feel like that's one thing Hillary and I say all the time is, of course we want to be smart, we want to be cautious, but we also want to experience things for ourselves and see if it's as good as people say it is or as bad as people say it is and uh, kind of see things through our perspective, through our lens, if you will. And uh, most, most of, more often than not, we end up finding at least something to enjoy. There's always something to enjoy. I think that's the point, even in an area like Santa Fe that we don't see, that we can't see ourselves living here, there's plenty of things to enjoy. And it would be easy to focus on the negatives of it not being walkable, but uh, especially for a short visit like this, there's too many positive things to focus on. So hopefully through our channel, through our videos, we can, uh, we can help uh, give that perspective to you and help you maybe uh, see things in a more positive light. Now Weta is finishing up her ice cream as we finish off the video. Do we have to say anything else? Yeah, finish us off. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell, that way you get notified. Cada vez. We post a video and we'll see you guys. Al rato. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if we said it, but this mall is huge. It's like four, one, two, three, four, five, Six, it's like six or seven stories. It's pretty big. We decided that other mall was uh, is more like a like a strip mall, had strip mall type place in the inside of it. This one's more like your traditional mall. Well, there's nothing super traditional about this, but traditional mall in the sense of the types of stores here. Okay, now bye.